the pepper here. Okay, guys, so this is a fish. I've got the fish here. This is the fish. We're starting now, guys. So I've got the fish. Let me turn this on, the cooker on. seasonings got my seasonings my mix seasoning guys mix 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 i need a knife let me get the knife so you first of all gonna cut the if you want some line in your fish I'll be frying this fish, guys. I'll be frying, frying. Okay. So guys, this is the fish I'm using, red fish, it's red, headless fish, red one. So I've already cleaned the fish. I'm just going ahead now and take all the bones out. Sorry earlier on, this is my first time to go live, guys. So I really don't know the process. Yeah. You know the process, guys. So once your fish, the best time to clean your fish, it when your fish is a bit frozen, then you can clean your fish, guys. Yeah. So this fish, be careful, the bones here, really sharp here. Yeah. Oh. Need your scissors. All right. So now, just go ahead like so. We've got all this all right, bones out. I've cleaned it. I've washed it very well. It's all clean, ready to go. All right. Put this in the sink. Only oh, guy. Think it's much better doing a um, live when you go live stream is much better. So I've got the oil. You can use five hundred because it's deep fry. I'm doing. I don't think I have oil for later for the planting. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fry first the planting with that oil because this is all I have left. So I'll fry the plantain. Once the fish is seasoning, I'll go ahead and fry the plantain and then with the yam and cassava. I'm going to show you guys how to let me season the fish fresh. Let me wash my hands again. I'll be showing you guys how to fry plantain, cassava, and yams, and also how to boil it. So I'm going ahead now and then season the fish first. While it's marinate, then I'll go ahead and fry those other stuff, the plantain and the yam. So this is just my mix seasoning. If you if you follow if, if you've been following me, you know about my mix seasonings. It just makes life easy for me. I don't have to put a lot. So I'm going with two spoons. There is enough. Oh, sorry, two spoons. Then I will go ahead. And then just so I'll be frying the fish as well, guys. I'll be frying the fish. So once you season, 
if you want to cut your fish like this as well you can go ahead and cut it so i cut i give it two lines there it makes it really nice later on when you fry it so go like this so i'm gonna leave this to marinate i'm just gonna go with pinch on this side the mid side a bit with pinch okay so i'll leave this to marinate while i go wash my hands coming guys the sink is all the way here at the back <laughs> so this is proper life i'm going guys yes life trim so the oil this is for late let me come close oh i need to clean up there Oh my guys, what is this thing? Okay. So guys, if this this seasonings, if you don't want to mix yours, you can always go with one one spoon or half, you know. Then I also forgot to put magic cubes on that. I like cleaning my area while I'm cooking, so I need this. I'm just going with star magic cube there at the top. That, so that's done now. I'm going to fry the fish and the plantain. All right. So I've got the yam here, and then I've also got the plantain here. And I also have the cassava. I've got the cassava. So while we put this fish aside here to marinate, we'll fry that later. Then I'm also going to make stew to cooperate with this, guys. So stay tuned. It's going to be a long video, but I've, I've already prepared everything. So that make it kind of short for you guys. So I'm going ahead now. I've washed them earlier on. So with the yams, you always have to peel it first before you wash it. So I'm going to do two versions. I'm going to fry some, and then also I'm going to boil the other ones. So this is the cassava. The cassava, I haven't um, fried it before, really. So let's see how it goes once I get it fried. I like the boiled one. So just going ahead and peel everything. I don't know, guys. Comment if you eat cassava leaf. Let me know. And also like the video, guys. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. So this is the cassava. You can boil it, you can roast it, you can also fry it. I don't know for this one here, we have here, over here. But in Africa, we also fry it. Yeah, so this is the yam. I'm going to do everything because uh, I'll be frying some and boiling some. It's going to be quick, guys. Once I've peeled everything, it should not be hard to do, to cook got some bad one here just use the knife and take it off you're not allowed to do this while you're buying it and then you end up with the bad yams or plantain it can be look at this i don't know if i'm gonna get anything there let me cut it in the middle all uh, right it's not inside i'm lucky so i'm going to manage the oil because i don't want to fry the oil and later I fry this because of the smell of the fish so I'm just gonna fry the plantain first so 
So once I finish fry the plantain in the cassava with the yams, then I'll go ahead and fry the fish. I've got some in the oven already, but I've got lots of videos with the oven ones. So I said, let me just do the fry version this time, guys. Yeah. So let's see if we can get this bad side. Oh. Also, be careful with your knife. This is very sharp. It's the traditional knife, this one. You, you can use them forever, these ones. You can get them in IKEA. They're very good knife, IKEA. We had this knife for almost five years now. It's always sharp, always sharp, guys. So I'm going to get a bucket. Sorry, not bucket, water. <laughs> Let me get all water first. My sink is all the way here, guys. So it's best when you're doing it, you have water. I forgot to show you guys because you don't want it to end up go black like this, you know. So this one, I'm frying this one. So I have to make it a bit thin when I slice it. Yeah, you need a bowl of water. Because of that bad side before, it spoiled the shape of the yams now. Anyway, I have to manage it. This is fine. Guys, this is a really quick recipe because I'm preparing everything on the video. All right, so that's done. So now I'm gonna get this. Oh dear. The cassava, you can't get the shape right, but I'm gonna try. Okay, leave it like that. Chopping board, guys. But this is really dirty. Let it let me do it from here. So it's really good because it's dry inside. So it should be okay. So, right. I'll be frying these ones. Okay. So I'm going to wash it back there now. Once I finish washing, then I have to towel dry it because it's fried. It's too fried. I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. I'm just washing it. towel here i'm just going to dry it that's my clean kitchen towel you can use paper towel if you want then i'm gonna fry let me see if the oil is um up enough it's up enough now i'm going ahead and fry the cassava and the yams because they take time to fry right I'm going to fry. You can use 500 ml of oil. The oil has to be a lot when you're doing fry version. So I'm putting everything there because if you leave it so long, it's going to go change the color. The color will change to black. So it's best you just put everything. So now I'm going to peel that for the boiled version. Let me put this plate. Put it down. 
So this is for the fry version now. The sorry, the boiled version. <laughs> I'm mixing everything up here. All right, let me get rid of this first. Put them in the bin. So we just leave that boiled frying. So we start with this. This is the boiled one. I'm gonna boil this. Then I'm also gonna um, do stew as well to go with this because you can't eat it dry. But the stew will just take like ten minutes to cook. Yeah. Abubakar is here. It's going to be noisy. Babe. Oh, I'm live. I'm doing live. Go there. Go with your book. Hey! Hey! Did you plant that? Warehouse. I do. I do. I will do. It's so noisy, this boy. All right. So. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. I'm sorry guys for the noise. I'm trying to do quick quick so I don't keep you guys waiting. And this is my first trip live trip guys. So if I made mistake, correct me. What I need to do next time if I want to go live. Yeah. <laughs> I was struggling to set up. <laughs> I didn't know you have to verify your account and everything. So I was struggling. Yeah. I was struggling with that. Hi, Simon. Thanks for commenting, guys. <laughs> guys, please just like and then share, invite other people. You know, I'm new, you know. Guys, if your wife cooking for you at all, you need to appreciate it. It's not easy, you know. Cooking is one of the difficult things. And then also now, all the price has gone up, you know. All the price. It's gone up, meat, everything. And then also your wife will be cooking for you. You need to appreciate it, really. It's not easy, this cooking thing. Sometimes I even get fed up. But I'm so lucky, guys. My husband can cook, you know? So we take turns. The most time you see me, I'm cooking when I want to film. That's the only time I cook. Then after then, after two weeks, I don't cook anymore. <laughs> so I'm lucky, I'm very lucky on that. When you have a man that can cook, it's really good. Okay, so I'm going to wash this and come and put it there. I'm, I'm boiling it, guys. It's really good what I'm cooking here, guys. Wait when I'm about to finish. It's so good. Okay, let me wash this, then I'm coming. Guys, I'm 
So, okay, I've washed it now, the yam going in and the cassava. They both cook very easy, like 10, 15 minutes. It cooks so easy. Then I'm going ahead and add some boiling water. Just add some boiling water there, all the way to the top. And then I'm putting up there with the salt, 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 salt. Then you can just go ahead and add salt. And then put the lid on. I'm going to clean up here again. Let me put this here. Oh, I can't clean and put this here. So I'm just going to clean up my walking area. All right, so also the plantain, I'm going to boil one as well, but that will be later when they start boiling because the plantain looks so easy. I don't want to put it now yet. I've washed the plantain again. I've washed it before. So I'm going to boil this as well. And see where we boil plantain. Because it's so easy to cook. I'm going to put it later. Yeah. So once this is boiled, I'm going to put that plantain. Let me check on this. Let me check on the plantain and then the cassava. Yes, it's frying very well. While I get the other stuff ready. Guys. Yes, it's frying very well. I'm going to leave that to fry till it's brown, brownish, brownish. Yes, guys. Yes, 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 yes. You like my outfit? Yes, I'm a bit cold, so I want to wear something to keep me cold. You like it? Guys, come on now, like now, like, and then also, you know, comment let me see you interact <laughs> so i'm cooking for those that were joining me i'm cooking fried fish fried plantain fried yams and fried cassava then i'm also gonna boil it as well yeah so that's what we're cooking today with the fried fish so i've already fried the fish i've already fried the fish yeah. sorry guys I'm, i haven't fried it i've already seasoned the fish so I'm leaving it now to marinate while I get this cassava and yam to fry first because I don't want to use too much oil. So I can fry this now, get it out of the way. Then that same oil, I can use it to fry the, I can use it to fry the fish because you know the fish sometimes you get dirty. Okay, so now I'm going to blend the onions, tomato and get the stew started as well. Yes, guys. So please don't forget to like. You need to like the video. You need to like. I'm just checking how I'm doing. Uh, oh, I need the, the. I'm coming, guys. Oh, it's a nice. The yams and the cassava, it's frying very well. It's very easy to cook, by the way, guys. So we just want it crunchy a bit. 
but we're gonna leave it a bit longer to fry very well and crunchy let me get a knife where's the knife there we go the knife here yeah. Yes, guys, I keep going to the sink just to wash things because I'm doing life. <laughs> I have to wash everything. Okay, so I need onions. I've got the tomato here for the stew. Guys, tomorrow is my birthday. Who is birthday? What's up? He's, what are you going to get, Musa? Ice cream and uh, so we're going out later, right? Yeah. It's, how old Musa will be tomorrow? Seventeen. Seventeen? Yeah, and Abdul still could be bigger than him. Oh my God! Because Abdul could be eighteen. When Abdul gonna be eighteen? I don't know. On his birthday and. I think I'm so happy when I see in your life, you know, your life. Say hello, guys. <laughs> 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 Who stop shouting there? Behave yourself. <laughs> right, boo, let me show them this. Boo, boo, move. Boo, boo, move, 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 go, 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 go. Thank you very much. Before you say hello, you're saying, you don't do that. That's very good. <laughs> So guys, I've got the onions there. Face. <laughs> this is why I like talking over. I get everything ready before I start cooking. Um. All right, so I've got the blender here to blend, 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 blend. Oh my gosh, I'm cooking, I'm cooking fried yams, cassava, and then plantain. Come on, guys. Sorry, guys, this is my first live stream yes <laughs> everybody banned to make me stick in life so today i don't know i'm just slicing the onions now for the stew because this is so it's so nice this is so nice what i'm cooking guys stay on once i finish that's when you see everything coming out really nice really nice onions i've got a pinch of garlic there Here's my sweet chili this is just the base sweet chili base i'm using three chili here i've washed everything i always like to clean mine inside to check if there is no bad guys in there all right switch it on and then I need a new blender, guys. So now the plantain and the yam is going in. The cassava and the yam are going in now with me.
want to add my seasonings if it's not blend i'm just going to add two spoon of my mixed seasoning there and also I'm going to boil it as well there it's boiling then I'm going to fry the fish later fry the fish then I'll make a little bit of stew to combine everything so I just have to fry the plantain and then the cassava and the yams I'm frying it now and then the same thing is boiling there as well because of the oil I don't want to fry the fish first then that oil I can't use it to fry anything else again yeah so the cassava and the yams is taking so much time to fry i don't know why it's taking so much time to fry i don't know why so let me start cooking the stew as well i'm going to use another stove there and cook the stew it's quick 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 i don't want to keep you guys for two hours here or three hours no it's too long so guy i'm just going to get another frying pan I don't know if I can fit this here to cook the stew. Let me put it here at the front so I can see what's going on here. This is for the stew. Okay, okay. That's pretty much that's just it. I'm done now, guys. So all I have to do now is just to wait these two to cook. Then I'll make the fish and the stew. Yeah. Probably because I put too much inside here, it's taking time to cook. Yeah, probably that's why, guys. You know, when you're going live, it's a bit complicated, guys. So the cassava, it's just need browning up a bit. Let me check on the boil of yam chicken cassava. Oh, yeah, it's boiling now. And then I also have my I also have my meat here. No oh, fish, no oh, fish boiling. Oh my god. So guys, the fish I'll be using, it's the red headless fish. That's the red headless fish I'll be using, guys. So, hi for the hi Ian. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Please don't forget to like the video. Today is my first time to go live, so bear with me. I'll be making a little bit of mistake there and there. So please, <laughs> haven't done this before, guys. So I'm just going to move this here so that this pan can heat up a bit we have to use the yeah i'm going to cook the stew guys don't worry this food will look really nice for dinner you can have this for lunch you can have this for you know you can have it for tea time even breakfast yeah you can have it 
So I'm just frying the plantain here now. I'm just waiting for it to ground up a bit, which is doing now, grounding up a bit. So once that fried, I'm going to fry the plantain and the fish. The fish is marinating. This fish is so good. It's so good. This red headless fish. Very nice, guys. You can go ahead and watch my other videos where I talked about seasonings, how to use your seasonings, how to grill your fish in the oven and all that. I've got lots of videos, guys. And then also my, I've got a new video coming out. My routine as a new YouTuber and then also business mom while I'm going to do shopping for do business and everything. That video is coming out maybe next week. I've already filmed it and everything. It's just to put it together. It takes so much time. So that video, watch out for that video. It's coming out, guys. Yes. So this is my kitchen. <laughs> I'm using my laptop. I don't allow to use my phone. So yeah. Can't use my phone, guys. So please check on me, check my other videos. I've got really nice videos where I break down seasonings, your food, Serenion, tall food as well. You know, where I talked about Tola and spinach. I've got a ton of video. Even if you have hair problems as well, I've got other videos you can follow me and watch. Guys, I'm really new, guys. So yeah. That's pretty much it. I think the pan is heat up now. I'm just gonna get some oil out of here and put it there. Because I put too much oil. Let me just paste some. Which oil am I using? Yeah, I'm using vegetable oil to fry, guys. You know, there's nothing special with my oil, guys. It's vegetable oil I'm using. Okay. So, I put three spoon there. I'm going to go with that mixture now. This is the blend onion sweet chili and garlic then with two spoon of my seasonings i use there so i'm just going ahead to make the stew all right so i'm using the plum tomato the reason why I don't like using fresh tomato these days is because of they had so much water, excess water in them, which is really not good. I prefer to go with the thin tomato instead. It's better for me. So, guys, I'm just going to use the water and then some of the plum. I'm not using a lot. This is much creamier. It's better. Okay. Let me check on this. Oh, yeah. It's grounding off now. Like plantain and cassava coming up, coming up, coming up. And I'm going to add some seasonings, two spoons. I need to do that with some maggi cube. I hope you guys have a good holiday, good Christmas. We're all waiting for the new year, the end of the seasoning. 
yes guys i'm just gonna add small maggie cube the chicken this is this one i'm using is really good so i'm just gonna stir it up This yam I've got, it's not as white inside like the other one. It's not white at all, guys. It's really not white, you know. Okay, let me move this and create some space here for later. I'll wash them later. <sighs> All right, guys. Let me know if you want me to make any cook video. What you want me to cook. So this yams, it's not as good, the color. So that's how it looks. It's fried now. It's brown, some of them. So I'm just going to put it on the tray here. This is the yams. It's taking time with the cassava to brown. I don't know why. The yam is... I don't know if the video is bright or it looks like it's bright there. Oh my God. I, I fried it really good, guys. So the cassava, it looks like it's not going to brown for some reason. I don't know. So as you can see, guys, it's really brown. This is the cassava, but it's not as brown like the yam. So, but it's cooked. Yeah, it's cooked. It's really easy to cook. Let me check on the stew. I'll soon finish, guys. Once the stew is cooked, there's not so much water in this. I want you to stay on when I'm cooking this fish. It's very, very good the way I'm going to cook this fish. But I just want something to cook with it. Corn chips. It's corn chips. It's really nice for chips. Mm. Really nice. Let me check on this. I'll give it five minutes and it's ready. Mm. When I fry it, I didn't put salt. Putting salt when you're frying it is not good. So guys, as you can see, the cassava, I don't think it goes really brown for some reason. I don't know. It's not going brown, but it's cooked. And then it also looks crunchy as well. So I've done that. It's all cooked. All right, so now I'm going to fry the plantain. I need the knife again. Let me go for the knife. You know, guys, this morning when I was setting up um, to go live, I nearly give up, you know, because I didn't know what to do. But then I read the instruction, you know. Sometimes to give up easily in life, it's not, it's not nice. Keep going. Even though I, um, being a new YouTuber as well is the same, you know. You make your videos, nobody watch them. But that doesn't mean that you should give up. So this is the plantain I'm going to slice. You know, don't give up, guys. Keep going. Anything you're doing in, in life, just keep giving. Keep pushing and ask for advice, you know. 
seek advice with people that who are already been in that kind of situation. It's really nice, you know, stay motivated. Don't let people put you down. Just keep doing what you think is good for you in life, you know. Don't let nobody talk you out of it. It's not good. So, even me, when I started my business, I haven't tried to plant the, the cassava. Let me try the cassava for you guys. It's really crunchy. Really crunchy. Mmm. It's not. Mmm. Really nice. Mm. I like it very nice. This is why when you fry it, don't put salt. Mm -mm. It has salt on its own. Don't put salt, please. Just fry it like that. If you're boiling it, you have to put salt like I did. When I boiled it, I put salt. So, guys, like I was saying before, we're approaching 2022. Work hard. Keep doing what you're doing. If you're if you're a new YouTuber, you know, just get the necessary things you need. Your light, especially your light. If you're you if you're a new YouTuber, your light, your light. You need to get your lighting. Spend money on it. It's very important. Get a good camera. Those two stats, it's good. Why you work on your videos, how to make your videos, you know. But the main two important things, it's your light, your camera. They need to be good. Because when new viewers come across your new videos, it's good for them to gain something out of it. And the lighting should not put them off. Because if it's dark, like now I'm walking on here now, it's dark. You can't see me. You can't see my beautiful face, right? <laughs> no makeup. <laughs> I didn't plan to go live, but I'm like, you know, I'm not doing anything. I'm cooking today. Let me just go live. Let me go live and do something. Yeah. So get your light. Get your new camera. It's very good. Okay. Mm, this camera is good. I'm going to turn this off now. Get your lighting. It's very good. Yeah. Because you don't want somebody looking at your video, they're not clear enough. Then, if you want to make any new content as well, go and watch other videos. Watch them. Once you watch them, you see that they're good. If you want to do the similar content like that, you can always copy and then you do your own version. You know what I mean? We all copy and do. There's nothing new. Everything has been there for ages okay yes all these cookbooks and everything people just look at these old ones they copy they do their own fashion you know so as a new youtuber like us it's good for her for us to have lighting the lighting is very important this one costs like 120 or 10 pound about it but it's really good then sometimes let's say this alone it's not i've also got this other one here as well that I'm using, you know, if you go to BNM, BNM, and then where else should you go for light? BNM and own bagging, those two places you can get light. I've got that one BNM, 22 pounds. It was very cheap, you know, it's really cheap. So you just go look around where you can get light, good camera, you know, start invest with that. Don't Put yourself in debt for youtube no work with what you have but if you start with those two things while you work on your content is very important yeah you know so there is every you have to start so this is the boiled plantain cassava and then yams now it's cooked i'm going to pour the water out then i'll show you that The sink is all the way here, guys. You know, my kitchen is kind of long. <laughs> it's long all the way from here. I don't know, maybe three feet my kitchen is. <clears throat> it's long. 
So guys, as you can see, this is the cassava and the yams and the plantain. It's cooked already. So I'm just going to leave that and switch that up and cover it. So pretty much what we're waiting for now, it's the fish. Then everything is done. I'm going to eat for you guys today. <laughs> I'm on grill. Ah, let me check on the stew. Let me check on the stew. I am hungry, guys. So as you can see, I need to add a little bit of oil here. Yeah. You know, with my two seasonings, these ones, anything you cook, I am telling you, it tastes so much better, guys. My meat seasonings and this Maggie Cube or that, they do the magic. Anything you cook, it's just so simple. That's what I use as well to season the fish. So you can also use this fish water to cook your food as well. That it has so much, because we don't need that water and find that fish. Okay? So I'm going to add a little bit of oil here. This stew is for the fish. I'm going to show you guys how to do it very well, very nice. Oh, I'm happy I'm doing live stream. I can't believe I'm doing live stream. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm doing this today. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Guys, I'm also going to travel home soon. Close the door. Sorry. I ate the chili smell. So I'm frying the plantain. I'm gonna leave that one for later. No, actually, I'll fry it. So I've got the plantain here. I need to add a little bit of oil here. This should need oil. So guys, I'll be traveling home soon. I really want you guys to tell me which kind of videos you want to see when I'm home. Yes, guys. So please. <laughs> okay, I'll cook. I'll cook fish ball. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. But this is what I'm saying now. You know the fish here. The fish here sometimes because it's frozen, and then also they're not. They're not organic, basically, really, to my own experience, because my dad used to be a fisherman, and then also he used to work in the fisheries, you know, so I, I like fish. That's why I love fish. He always bring fish at home. I'm used to fish. We don't shut off fish in the house. So compared to the fish back home to here nowadays with the Chinese being this main supplier, you know, and, on, and also South Africa, you know, they farm fish. These farm fish, sometimes they're not good. And especially when Ian is com um, commenting that he, he, he would like to see fish ball. You know, sometimes when you pound the fish, you boil it. It becomes scattered in the pot or something. The meat, the chicken one is much better. So I'm going home. I'll be making that video for you guys when I'm home with the fresh fish. Because sometimes they got the local fisherman. They bring fish, you know. So I can use that fish to cook for you guys fish ball and there's so much coming on if you have any video idea you want me to make while i'm going to go home next month let me know i'll be cooking there as well for you guys like different type of food and everything so i'll be happy if you just leave a comment but before i travel anyway i'm going to leave that comment on my community tab which you if you're following me you'll be seeing it so comment there I'll put pictures that I'm on currently. If you guys want me to cover anything whatsoever that I can, if they allow me to comment, I will do that for you guys. Okay. So what I'm cooking, I'm cooking fish. 
I'm cooking fish. I'm going to fry it. I don't know if you see that. Okay, I didn't, I didn't tag it. I'm very sorry. I'm supposed to tag it. Um, I'm cooking fish and then fried plantain, which I've already fried, and then cassava yam. So I'm frying the plantain here now. I'm frying the plantain here. So the stew, I'm making the stew that will go with the, the fish. It's ready. And I've also boiled cassava and then yams and then plantain so i've boiled that it's ready i'm just waiting for the plantain to fry then i'll go ahead and fry the fish basically that's it i'm already there yes guys so like i said earlier on please if you want me to cover anything i will be going home once i go home i'll be cooking fish ball i'll be making lots of content for you guys so if you have any new ideas you want me to do i'm happy to do it i don't mind once they allow me to film it i can film it guys okay so please don't forget to like the video and then also comment share and then let me see if i can tag what i'm cooking so that you guys can see it um i'm watching myself here So let me see. Um, hey guys. <laughs> I'm nearly done now, guys. <clears throat> I'm nearly done. So I'm cooking fried plantain, yams, cassava, cassava, yeah. Somebody was asking what I'm cooking so i'm just gonna pin that on this so guys the plantain is cooked already as well so fried plantain fried cassava mm, this is so good okay so i'm going to leave that oil to heat up a bit so once it's heat up i will be frying the fish for you guys the stew is basically finished now the stew is finished guys this plantain and the yams and the cassava please guys try it it's so nice mm. very nice fried well it's crunchy even though it's still cold but it's still crunchy mm -hmm. let me put to that mm. i hope it's bright guys we're waiting for the oil to hot now i'm not hungry i'm super hungry i want to eat So the stew it's ready as well. Yeah, it tastes really good. 
go fried um so yeah boiled plantain boiled yams and boiled cassava tea i've already boiled that everything is pretty much ready now it's just to fry the fish then i'm going to eat for you guys <laughs> you want to see me eating comment if you want to see me eating yeah <laughs> comment if you want to see me eating say yes maria please go ahead and eat what you cook yes mm -hmm. if you're frying big fish like this the oil has to be really hot why the oil has to be really hot it's good that way so i need to give this fish some line guys if you watch so if you watch this video this long thanks for staying on so far so if you just join me as well i'm frying plantain cassava yams then also with the fish then also i boil the plantain cassava and yams i've already boiled it guys so this is the fish i'm using is headless red fish yeah you know guys we love fish but we don't like to suffer to clean it especially this fish if you're cleaning it be careful because these bones are bad man here they're really sharp yes guys so let me know what you want me to cook next on this channel guys then also i'll be traveling home yes i'll be going back home soon so guys i would like you guys to comment what you would like me to show you while i'm there there's so much to cover guys please guess and tell me what you want to see i'm going home i'm so excited <laughs> that's the only place i go and eat good food <laughs> organic yes guys so let me know then which country you'd like me to visit guys for business wise because i own a salon I do hair, I sell wigs, I sell African dresses. If you know anywhere I can get good business, let me know I can go there and make videos and just explore the country how it's like, you know? Even though with this COVID, we have to try. Keep going, nothing should stop you guys. So I think the oil is hot now. I'm going to wash my hands, then I'll fry the fish. so 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 there we go the fish is going the fish is going yes yes the fish is going another one is going i've got red snap as well i'm going to add it I know people ask me as well the red snapper while i always put take the edge the, the eyes off you know like sometimes taking the eye off i like it because you know the fish got a lot of water inside i don't like leaving it when i'm cooking and then also if you're frying your fish like this if that eye is in there it's not good because the moment it start drying up this, this that the eye water will be making the oil popping out like this pop, 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 pop. And it's not safe for your face it's not safe for your beautiful face as well you know so yeah guys so please anytime you want to fry the fish you need to get this off yeah and i don't know what you mean do you know like okra is that what you mean okra i've already got video for okra I've cooked it three version, three version. You know, you can go ahead and check my videos. Like I said, I've got lots of videos. Yeah, you can go ahead and check it. Yeah. Guys, if you're 
if you're frying your fish the oil has to be full the oil has to be more so that way it fry the fish really quick if you're using a frying pan like this yeah the oil has to be more and the heat has to be high yeah the stew is ready now it's only the fish we're waiting for then we finish this recipe i just want to show you the finished look you enjoy the finished look guys so please stay tuned comment like yeah like the video and comment ask questions Ooh, i don't want to burn myself i hate burning myself when i'm cooking i just burn myself there so comment like and share the video guys i hope all of you had good christmas i don't celebrate christmas i'm a muslim yeah so i hope all of you watching you had good christmas and you also you also you're waiting for the new year 2020 guys yes let's keep going let's still fighting this covid this covid should not put us down guys yes this covid should not put us down it's banana fillet <laughs> oh <laughs> oh my god this guy here <laughs> okay ian i will research on that i will see if i can make you that video okay you're my big you're my big fan you you know you really support me in in any ways i know ian thank you very much <laughs> I'm just watching myself there, see how I'm doing. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So guys, I'm so happy and grateful, guys. So please, let me know any kind of video you want me to make while I'll be in Freetown, Sierra Leone soon. I haven't fixed the dates yet. Guys, I'm super hungry. I can't wait for this food to finish. I want to eat. This stew is ready now. It's only the fish. This fish is easy to fry anyway. Because it's a big fish. It's going to take a while to fry. Yeah, guys. But please stay tuned till the end. Please. I would like you guys to see the finishing. The finishing bit is really nice. Yeah. The finishing bit is really nice. We need protein, guys. Carbohydrates. We need to eat well. Oh, I burn myself. So, guys, please interact. Ask me questions, you know. My little boy, I drove him away because he's messing about. <laughs> Just keep checking on your fish. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave it to fry while I get plate to put all this. I'll fry this later. Then to here. So guys, okay. So this is the fish stew. It's ready. Oh, let me talk about this pan as well. You know when you're using non-pan stick to cook your stew, if you use the um, the blender chopper, it's really good because then your your stew will cook so quick. You know, that was just 10, 15 minutes. It was cooked. It was cooked and dry really well yeah and it tasted really nice simple seasonings i use which i always share in my youtube channel it 
it's really nice. Simple seasoning, that's it, not too much. Using non-stick pan now is the best. It makes your life easy. Cook quickly. My mom is calling. I'm going to answer this later. Because if she starts talking, she doesn't finish. So now, as you can see, this is the yams, cassava, and plantain boil version. Then we got the fried version, guys. The fried version is so good, especially when you're relaxing this time. You're not going anywhere. Just tell your husband or your girlfriend, your wife to fry you this. This is cassava, yams, and plantain. So crunchy. This is the yam. Very nice. It cooks very well, right? Yeah. Just look for a good yam. Yeah. Well, well. So we also fried our... Sorry. We also boil our plantain as well. Which you can see on my video. One of my street food videos in Freetown. One lady was selling this to the boil one. I don't know some parts in Africa if you boil your if you boil your your um yam cassava um, plantain sorry so this is the cassava and this is the yams you can also eat this you can also eat this I don't know what's that message. Oh my God, I need to end my life now, guys. This is not good, I'm not finished yet. So it's giving me notice, guys. I think I'll have to start again to do the finishing, guys. So, YouTube, can you not wait? This is my first time to go live stream, I don't know. Yeah, you've only made time to stay there. I don't know. So, as you can see, this is a yam. It's both so good. So, everything boils so nice, soft. You can also eat this with palm oil, which I'm going to show you now. Okay? So, this is my palm oil. Look for a good, non-stick, smelly palm oil to eat with it. Because if your palm oil smells bad, Mm -hmm. If it smells bad, you won't be able to eat it. Let me grab my chili sauce. And I've got video on that as well, how to make your chili sauce that you can eat with anything, guys. So that's not my chili sauce that I make. Yeah. Then this is the palm oil. You can cooperate with this. This is so good, guys. Don't worry, I'll be showing you a lot of tips on this channel. It's just sometimes I don't have time. You know, I'm alone editing. So for you that you're from Sierra Leone watching me, you're familiar with it. This is um this is Benny. What is it called now? The synonym, synonym seed, this one. So what we do in Africa, we wash it white. Let me put the light this way. We wash it, dry it, and, and then pound it and put Maggi cube with some chili, sometimes dry fish powder. It's so nice, you know? So this is it. It's synonym seed. Yeah. So you can just put your synonym seed here like so. It's so good. Then this is my chili sauce that I made. That's the last video I posted. So you can just cooperate it with this. You can make yours mild or hot. You know, I've messed with the chili here on this too. Yeah. Hmm. It's so nice. There you go with the oil, palm oil. You just go like this. Just go like this. 
you need to look for the good palm oil which i do sell let me show you guys you see that's my palm oil there i do sell in the shop yesterday i was so busy to package it you know i'm a very busy girl so that's it there yeah and then you see you complete it like this my dear let me try with the, with the planting miss me like hmm right now mm. Mm. I'm still waiting for the fish to fry that this is why I'm just keeping you guys going mm. Mm. yeah that's it. Mm. You don't have to put too much palm oil. Small will do. Very good. Let me check on the fish. I don't want this fish to fall on me. You know what I mean? Oh my God, look at that. This is why I won't lie to anybody. I don't like deep fried fish. The oil that it's absorbed in that fish, it's not good. I don't like it. I like my grill meat and fish. It's better for me. Yeah. So my shop is in Bolton. Bolton, Black Gate yeah once i finish i'll link everything on the description below guys with your question answered okay yeah so i'm still eating this palm oil with the benny mm. so the piece is nearly done i need water sometimes by the time you finish cooking you're full up because you'll be eating and drinking <laughs> yeah oh, pardon me thank you see all this food i have to eat for you guys i'm full already yeah so my shop is in Bolton. Bolton. Yeah. So my shop is in Bolton, guys. Russia Gates. Look for unique beauty hair salon. We do treatment, we do facial, wigs. You know, if you have problem with your face, your scalp, your hair is shedding, everything, we also cook on this channel. We just talk about little there and there just to help because we want to solve problem. You know, we don't. For me, I'll be one topic for me it becomes bored so i like to have different ideas to share that i know people when they come to the shop they always say oh my i'm i'm struggling with this 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 i talk about it on my channel just to help out you know so i do i do that yeah so guys i like share everything guys 
I'm just checking myself, see how I'm doing. Mm. So please, I'll be going on, guys. Check my community tab. I will put that the day I will be traveling. I haven't booked my tickets yet. I'm still looking for a cheap ticket. Yeah. I'm still looking for a cheap ticket. So once I have a cheap ticket, I'll book. Because now, eh, the other funniest thing as well, when you're booking ticket to go home, they only give you one luggage. I don't know if it, if it happens to anyone watching that like to travel to Africa. You know, it just, um, they give you one luggage now with your handbag. So if you want extra one luggage, you have to pay extra money for that. Even though you already paid for the full ticket, those days you have to have two luggage luggages. You understand, like two suitcases plus your hand luggage, which is free. But you paid for the and um, the luggages too. But now, oh my battery is low. But Musa, can you get me the, the laptop battery um, charger, please? Quick. Oh my god. Sorry, guys, my battery computer is low so my son just grabbed the back the charger for me so i'm trying to book any ticket that i want to book hair france hair brussels klm they only give you one at luggages which is really bad guys i don't know if it's happening to you guys for me i don't like it it's expensive we pay so much you know so quick 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 sorry guys my battery is about to die let me connect it first Oh my God! I know. I was I was calling you for help here. You're not helping. So now, if you want to book your flight ticket, guys, you really have to. You really have to check. You really, really have to check. You know. Anyway, if I book my flight ticket, I will share the the link. On um, my community tab, I will share the link there. It's so expensive right now to travel to Africa. You only got one luggage, and I like my luggage because I take with me and I also bring with me. So why these people should give you only one, one luggage when you paid for your ticket up to six to seven hundred pound? That's way too expensive for one luggage. That's not nice, you know. So I'm still trying to get where to get cheap ticket if you guys know any link please share with me let me know where i can get cheap ticket guys so this fish is still frying as you can see this is why i like my grain fish it's dry and all that i've got fish here as well all right guys so as i was saying if you got any link where to buy cheap ticket to go to africa please share with me and then the other thing as well you can't get through to the company direct like hair france hair brussels you just cannot get through for some reason i don't know why because of the agency they grab all the available tickets and keep them you know you don't you don't you don't know where to get ticket these days it's just too expensive especially with the one luggage they give you no it's ridiculous i can't do that no for 700 pounds i have to pay no it's way too much with covid you have to pay for covid here paid there when you're coming paid oh traveling right now is so much but i have to travel because it's all for business, you see. So I have to travel. I don't know. I got these people here. It's kind of annoying. So now this fish. Maybe I'm not using the, the deep fryer. It looks like it's not going to dry, dry, dry. Which I don't even want it to dry, dry, dry. Okay, guys. So it's, it's fried. It fried very well. The fish. Let's do the finishing bit. Sorry, Abuba. What do you want? 
You want to eat? All right, the chicken is ready here for you. Okay, let me finish this video that you have. You want to say hello? All right, boo. Here. Come on. Let me take the fish out. I'm going to finish the video. The video is going to end soon. I'm getting the fish I out. We go out. Eh? Yeah, we go out. But once, once I eat, we go out. Yeah. Oh, I can't move. Yeah. I can't move. I'm so good. Go, 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 go. Be careful the light. Ah, 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 ah. Guys, the oil. I need a plate. Boo, can you get me a plate? Okay. Oh, you get me, just get me this, the, the, the pan cover here. This one, yeah. No, I don't get it. You can't get the plate. Come and get me this here. It's fine out for you. I just want to show. No, this one, the cover, the pan cover here. This, the, thank you. I don't want the oil to go everywhere. So guys, you can see the fish is fried really well. It's really soft as well inside. I don't like fish to be really dry. Yeah. So I'm going to do the finishing bit now. Okay. Let's get this oil on the side. Then we get back the stew here. So guys, I'm going to put this fish into that stew, okay, to finish up this look because it's a bit hot. I'll have to go with the oh, this is so nice, guys. I'll just put one because I don't want it to mess up, guys. Right? I didn't know that I'm going to go live, so I didn't buy, um, okay, so that's, uh, as you can see, when you fried your fish, you can always make stew base like this. Once you finish frying, you dip it in there, then that's it. If you want to put this in the grill again, to make it a bit dry, you can just stick it inside the, gr the grill, oven, whatever available to your side. Then she can see. Or you can just leave it like this and put that stew inside on top. Okay, which I'm going to show you now. I'm finished. Let me just show you. Sorry, it's messy. I'm going live. So this is the fried plantain and the yams and cassava. Let me do the finishing bit now. Yeah. Fried it. I don't want this fish to cut off. It's too hot. Guys, look at that. Look at that. By the way, this plate is my microwave. It's broken and I kept the plate. <laughs> kept the plate. Or you can have it like this or like that, guys. So I got the two. Then let's finish up with the decoration. This is the fried cassava. Fried cassava there. It's so crunchy, guys. This, and then we got the plantain. Let's put the plantain in the middle. Plantain here. Then the yams. The yams. I'm just gonna put it on the side, guys. Let me know how it looks, please. Comment. <laughs> it looks nice. <laughs> All right, look at some there. Oh my god. So as you can see, 
Ta-da! So already, this is a plantain. And this is a cassava. Mm. This is the yams. Mm -hmm. And this is a red, red headless fish in the market. They sell this fish like for um some place is two for five pounds, some two for six pounds. Yeah, but you have to clean it at home. Go well, to market, they got lots of fish, different fish there. You can get it. So as you can see, guys, it looks so nice. Let me taste the fish now. Let me get it for I'm coming. Still here. Let me sit down. Mm. Guys, join me, join me, join me, join me. So juicy. So juicy. Mm. Mm. Everything just cooked with no lot of salt. Where's my water? No lot of salt, nothing. So sweet. Guys, go ahead and watch my videos where I talked about my seasonings. Guys, if you taste these seasonings, you will never stop using them. It just makes your food taste really good. It cooperates with everything. You see the way I fried it? It's so juicy inside and not too dry. Yes, guys. Mm -hmm. mm. It's very nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guys, I hope you learn anything. If you do, please comment, like, and share. Thank you very much, Ian. <laughs> My greatest supporter. Thank you. <laughs> You're so active. Mm, guys, this is so amazing. So thin. Really good. Juicy. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. I like this red headless fish. It doesn't have too much bone. As you can see, no bone, you can feed your child this fish as well. It's so nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I only cook these guys for me and you guys. Cook it and eat it there and there. Mm -hmm. mm. This is cassava. Mm. Guys, sorry, only water drink. Water or Sprite or 7-Up. All those other freezy drinks I can. Mm. Yeah. So this is the boiled one. I've, I've done the boiled one before. Palm oil with Benny and then the, the, the chili sauce. I've eat some of that. I'm already full. I'm not a big eater, guys. Yeah. I just come every 10, 15 minutes, I'll be eating. That's how I eat, basically. So I'm really full. My husband will finish this later. He will. <laughs> With a <abobaka. laughs> yeah, I got three boys. The other one is going to turn 17 tomorrow. The one 18. Mm hmm then I got the small one, which which appear on my video all the time. Abu Bakari six, yeah. The fish seasoned very well. I only left it for thirty minutes. It seasoned very well. So let me show you the seasonings I use. It's 
this one, the mix seasonings. If you check my video, this mix seasonings is so good with warm maggi cube, no salt. It tastes very good, like restaurants. Ah. You know, my customers, my friends, when they eat my food, they say, why you don't open restaurants? I can't stand cleaning. I like everything should be clean. And I like everything should be neat. Even my pans I'm using to cook, you see, I care for them. I've got some that 18 years old, 20 years old, but they, they look the same like this. I like cleaning, so I can't do restaurants, to be honest. I can't do restaurants because if I do restaurants, I'll be walking myself over, you see, because I like everything spotless, clean. Even if I give anybody food, I want you to eat it like you eat it, you the way you cook it yourself. Everything should be clean. You understand? I like everywhere should be clean. Even my big area is so clean, everything. So this is why I don't like to open restaurants. I can't do it. I will be overworking myself. I don't like doing shortcuts, you know. Yeah. I don't do shortcut, guys. So that's it. I hope everything went well. You guys learned something. That's my husband there. Should we change the light off without telling me? It actually looks better than that. All right, guys. So I'm going to end the video here now. As you can see, I finished cooking and everything. I hope you learned something, guys. Yeah. Um, AA6, how do you make your chili sauce? I've made, um, I've got a video there recently. It's there. That's the last video I upload. You can go and check it. It's there. Yeah. You can use any kind of chili to make your chili sauce, guys. Yeah, you can go and check it. It's really nice. You can use that with anything. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video here now. Thank you very much. Oh, that's my husband. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. So stay on with me till this time. Thank you. Bye. Love you all. Bye-bye. Hey. Ojale. <laughs>